there's the correct tools to use and the incorrect tools. So I'm going to show you the correct tool to use first so that you'll have a good understanding for what needs to be done. So this is what we call a tub drain wrench. And I'm going to put links to all of this, these parts and tools that we're talking about here in the video description below for you. But the way this works is this goes down into the drain and it fits around all the spokes and you just turn the drain like that. It's a $10 tool. Everybody should have one of these. So you can see that as the drain wrench enters your drain, do you see how those four sections are all perfectly shaped at the proper angles here? to line up directly so that it goes face to face with each edge of those spokes. See that? There's no sharp edges pointing into the spoke. That's the perfection of the design of this drain wrench. And this is why this is what you should be using. So this is what 95% of the people have been getting wrong all these years. Okay, now what's really ironic is when you look on the packaging from Danco and you look at the instructions on the back, they actually show a picture of pliers. And what's even more stupid is they're actually showing it like this end. I'm like, well, First of all, this end would never ever uh, work on any drain. Even This is the big ones, forget about the little ones. Now, probably you might be able to get this end to work on the bigger drains like this. If you have the smaller size, it's not gonna fit. But if you take a close look here, you can see, once you see how it's gripping the drain, why this is an inappropriate tool to use. Because unlike the drain wrench that you saw had the four different parts that come in there and made up perfectly against the spokes, this one here just mates up at the spoke with a sharp corner. And if you exert a lot of force on one of these drains that's old and rusty, you're going to shear through all of those center hub spokes here. And now what are you going to do? How are you going to get your drain out then? Now a couple of years ago we did a video on how to remove a stuck bathtub drain and we got a lot of arrogant mean comments from people saying you idiot you don't know what you're talking about you're not supposed to use the pliers because I was just showing them what the Danco instruction said and they're all saying you're stupid you don't use pliers you're supposed to use needle nose pliers okay so here's the needle nose and here's why you're not supposed to use these either so all of those arrogant people were wrong too if you take these needle nose and you stick them in here but again, you're, you're up against the same problem here. You have this sharp edge up against the spokes of the drain here, you see this? And so you're, you run the risk of shearing through. I've received a number of comments from people who've told me that they've either destroyed their needle nose pliers or they've sheared through the hub and now they're desperate. Now what do I do? So if you shear through the hub of your drain, folks, the old drain trying to get it out, because you were trying to save $10 on buying the correct tool for the job. Now you gotta go spend $25 on this tool, which is a tub drain extractor. So this tub drain extractor is what you use to remove difficult drains that you've ruined them or there's no spokes left in the middle. And the way this works essentially is it goes in the middle like that. Now this one's too small. You have to get the next size up for this drain, but it would go in here like this. You pound it in place with a hammer you stick your ratchet in there. The ratchet should help loosen the drain like this, see? So in this case here, if you use the needle nose pliers instead, instead of four perfectly shaped pushing surfaces, you only have two and they're not perfectly shaped. They're edged, look at this, you're, you're doing a sharp edge going right into those walls there, see that? You're gonna push a sharp edge on the corner of that needle nose there and it's gonna shear right through if you have an older, rusty drain spoke, it will just shear right through. Or in some cases, you'll just break your own needle nose pliers. And on top of that, you can see how awkward it is to get a good grip with your hands spread wide like this to try to hold it. So, you know, you might get lucky, you might not get lucky. Some people don't get lucky, you know, and then they either break the tool or they break this. Or some people will get a huge wrench, like a channel lock wrench and really exert too much pressure on the tool. So my advice to you is, let's say you use your needle nose pliers. If you can't get that thing to move easily with, with your hand, then don't continue to use the tool. Stop what you're doing and go and get the right, proper, correct tool to use, which is the tub drain wrench here. Otherwise, you're going to cause some damage. Oh, and you're thinking of using the pliers now. Let's try that and see what we get. So the pliers do almost the exact same thing to you that the needle nose pliers do, in that there's no perfectly shaped feature here on the pliers on the tip, see? You just have a sharp edge and a sharp edge there that are going to force their way through the spokes. 
it's going to shear right through because it's meeting it at an improper angle at the worst possible way the sharp edge there so all of these people out there that for years have been using needle nose you know they run the risk and this is why so all of these people over the years that have been trying this method and failing and either breaking their tool or shearing through the hub of the drain now you can physically see why that happens nobody's ever explained this to you before but that's what we do here on our channel well before you leave here make sure you check out these other two playlists we've got here this one here is for all of our bathroom remodeling and this other one here is additional plumbing tips that will help you out and if you're not subscribed make sure you do that by clicking on that subscribe button down below that's free that way you don't miss out on any of our future videos like these that give you great content so thank you so much for joining us today folks and we will see you on the next one